A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. overlooked by his neighbors. The city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. city of pioneers, a city of dreamers, century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. Adam, see the detective, an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got out of here. To be. Happy hunting. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. Look at this junk. I'm stumped. Ideas? Have a good look around. It could be anywhere. It's not my job to pick through other people's trash.
What have you got, Phelps? Anything? Jesus. Cole, come take a look at this. I tell you, I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. We're never gonna find it, it's a waste of time. Nothing significant. Dr. Fontaine, could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon. Or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes, given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hands. Shield. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine. He's so far away. It's like he's wandering. You went through a lot me. together. Yes, doctor. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Sheldon. And your penance, for your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time. With what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. like anything. Maybe this is going to help us. Seems irrelevant.
Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right, don't hurt yourself. Junk. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. This doesn't pertain to the case. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys no. think we are? Wesson, serial S71893. Two rounds fired, and instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. about this. It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Wake up, Cole. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson. Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. 
This is about something bad, right? Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? We're in luck. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name. If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are... What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. You ready, tough guy? <laughs> I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm gonna take a look around. The 
list of names and a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247, requesting. Fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me? Fuck you. You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. You picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. The force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope, or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. They could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identify code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. You're the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. 
If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers! Stop! LNTD! You can go screw yourself. Why you? Watch it! He's hiding in the alley! Uh... Hold it right there! Stop now or I will shoot! I won't tell you again, Wendell! Jesus, son! Watch your fire! You don't want to do this, Wendell! Get down from there right now! Give it up, Wendell! Stay the hell away from me! You got the kid at you! Fucking ask for it! Going back inside. I've done my time. It's over, Bowers. You assholes already screwed me once. Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. What you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? <laughs>